When we have two-dimensional kinematics problems, we want to use the sketch organize solve method to start solving them. So in our sketch system, we want to draw a y versus x graph to kind of just show us the motion in a general sense. So we have then, in this case, y and x. If it's a projectile motion question, it very often will be something of a parabola or something like that. And just to show off what's going on. After we've drawn the y versus x, we want to draw a separate graph of vy versus vx to decompose any initial velocities. So in this case, then, we are going to have the velocity in the y and the velocity in the x. And this is going to be a single vector of our initial velocity. And then what we do with this single vector is then we decompose it into vyi and vxi. So it could be that we know vi in the angle. It could be no, that we know vxi and vyi. It could be that we're right trying to solve the data, things like that. Once we have these, then we want to draw A versus T, V versus T, and S versus T graphs for both directions. We have some experience with this from one-dimensional kinematics, so we don't need to draw all that. In our organized step, we want to, of course, write out our equations. And I'm just going to write be explicit and write them in the x and the y direction as separate. So equation 1 in the x is going to be vfx equals vix plus ax times time. In the y, vfy equals vy plus ay times time. 2 in the x is going to be sfx equals six plus vix times time plus 1 half ax t squared. And 2 in the y, sfy equals SIY plus VIY times time plus one half AY T squared. So we want to always have these equations at hand and able to write manipulate. Once we have that, we want to write down all of our knowns. Write down all unknowns. And we want to use, write these graphs to help fill out our unknowns and unknowns. And then if time is not known, since it's our connecting thing between equations, write, write it as unknown. So that's our organized step. Then as we solve, we want to look for equations with one unknown. This will give us a right one equation, one unknown. But if we can't do this, right? We want to solve symbolically for an unknown. And substitute it into another equation. Once we do this, right, it's just the do math stage, right, actually go through these equations, actually solve them as we want. But once we've done that, we want to check our answer for sense and scale. So 
examples of this is like eliminating negative times and other things of that sort, right? Checking if our speed makes sense, checking if our flight makes sense, checking if our acceleration is, you know, a reasonable amount and things like that. So we want to always write sketch, get as much of a good sense as we can with both the y versus x, the vy versus vx, and then all of our, right, previous graphs we have examples of. We want to get all the information that we know from the problem in one written down source in front of us, and we want to compare it to our equations and see if we can write immediately plug it in or plug in. And once we have that, then we can actually start solving.